The D1 state final is coming up and we anticipate a heavyweight battle between Belleville and Southfield a &T. Now both teams very different in terms of experience. However, they're both loaded at that quarterback position. I caught up with both teams this week as they prepared for the big stage kicking off soon right here at Ford Field. 13-0 Belleville versus 12-1 Southfield a &T. Number one versus number eight. I think it's going to be a lot of talent on the field. Um, they, they're loaded over there um, as well as we are. Let's start with the two-time defending state champion Tigers. They've won 38 straight games. That is tied for the seventh longest winning streak in MHSAA football history. How much of a bond we got outside of football. We talk to each other every single day outside of football, not related football things, and we come on the field and we just jail together. Going for a three-peat, historic. The players have been through a lot and sometimes that could be your motivation to go through those uh, adversity and come through and they have done that. But also historic is the work Southfield a and has done. This is their first appearance for this program, past and present versions. They have 29 seniors on this team. It means a lot because you know it means a lot for my teammates, my coaches and just the community of Southfield. So just to do that for the first time ever means a lot. We knew that they had a high ceiling. Um, it all came down to how much they buy in. Um, and they really have bought in this year, so the results kind of speak for themselves. Different, but the same. Both Division I finalists have two of the best quarterbacks in Michigan. Bryce Underwood, he has offers from everyone from Alabama to Michigan to Oregon. He's, he makes it easy. You don't have to fight with him. You don't have to look for him. When you ask him to study, he's, that's what he's going to do. And on the other side, Isaiah, or Zeke, Marshall, he's committed to Kansas. He's a really high character kid, and the rest kind of takes care of itself because he takes care of the little things. And they're no stranger to each other. When my train with Isaiah Marshall, we play on the same team, 7 on 7 so it's going to be a great battle to have for sure. That's one of my long-time friends, you know, so just coming out, executing, being the best quarterback. They win. I know a lot, a lot of the players over there at the Belleville side, and I'm very excited just for me and my teammates to show what we got. Whether it's three titles in a row or the first in school history, that trophy would mean it all to both programs. A great football team, you know, uh, great coaching staff. I've been knowing the coaching staff for uh, a long period of time, and I know what they bring to the table. And they've been number one in the state the whole year. So in order to, you know, get the champs, you got to knock them down, right? You can't just go in there, you know, half foot it. And this one kicks off shortly. We will have highlights and reaction for you tonight at 11.